Okay. My first guest has been on the cover of over 400 fashion magazines. This month, she graces the cover of Playboy. <laughs> She's acted in movies and hosted MTV's House of Style, and her upcoming ABC special examines America's sex life. Please welcome Cindy Crawford. There you go. Welcome. You look terrific. I'm all my, thank you. You're all mine. You, you look terrific, but you're you're a supermodel, so you should look terrific, <laughs> well, thank right? Thank you. Well, you I, know, it gets well, harder and harder each year. I'll tell it doesn't. You. Yeah, well, to stay in shape. Well, just everything. It's just you know, sometimes I, I I say it's just hard to like do that supermodel thing. You know, it's like a whole look. I know. For me, it has yeah. been <laughs> just. I just can't keep it up. But you know, well, you this can't. Is, well, that's a, that's a whole another story. Oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I meant the supermodel thing. I'm thinking about it your. Just, it didn't. Well, <laughs> there you go. I just. I'm sitting it's here with the Playboy. Tell, I'm right? sitting here with the Playboy, yeah. and it's just been very hard. This is the first time I can actually, as a married guy, take the Playboy home and say to my wife, "It's for work." <laughs> I'm just. She's on tomorrow. I'm just. Yeah, you have research, yes. Right? yes. Well, your husband could say, he doesn't even have to say he's reading the articles. It's cool for him to be looking at the pictures. He doesn't even have to look at the pictures, though. Really? He doesn't? No. All right. <laughs> that is great. He actually would prefer, I think, that I didn't do the pictures, but... What? He was not happy with this? He's no, he liked the pictures, but, you know, I think it's hard for him, as it is for my dad. Right. You know, when the first time I did Playboy 10 years ago, my dad was, you know, working, um, he was a blue-collar worker, and it was like all the guys, like, had it, like, hanging up at the at the shop, you know, and they're like, hey, your daughter's got nice ones, you know, like that. <laughs> now, 10 years later, he's a salesman, and now they're still like, hey, your daughter's got nice ones. Yes. <laughs> like, nothing changed. Yeah, and I can tell you, as a father, there, <laughs> nothing makes you prouder than to hear that about yeah. your daughter. <laughs> but my mother, my mother was actually really funny. Yeah. Because so, so many people say to my mom, like, why, why, you know, why would Cindy do Playboy or whatever? Right. And my mom's like, well, you know, I mean, if my body looked like that, I'd probably do it. So but she's she, for it. She's, well, she's, she's for, for me. Right. She said, you know, maybe she wouldn't have made that decision, but she trusts that, she kind of thinks that my career's been okay. Right. It has And been. <laughs> so she, she thinks that I can make pretty good decisions. But she did this very funny thing. I saw her this weekend, actually. And uh, she was saying, there's a picture of me from the back where I'm like leaning over something. Yeah, I saw that one. So she said she was in, you saw, you guys, oh. you know the one, like page oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you the oh, page number it. if you oh. want, yeah. That's so it. My <laughs> mother said, something's wrong with it though. They don't have that, 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 that foggy area that foggy in the magazine. Area, it's not in the mag <laughs> but my mom said she was in the bathroom at right. home and she was like, she said, she goes, I just thought of it and I went and leaned over the sink and looked at herself in the mirror and she said, no, can't do it. She, <laughs> she, she won't be doing Playboy, she said. Right. I just love that my mom yeah. admitted that she did that. I, I love that cool. too, but you know what? Nobody wants to have the image of their mom bent over a sink <laughs> like that. No. That's what my husband said. <laughs> my husband goes, you had to tell me that? Yeah, it's just not a pretty image, just like you don't want to hear about your daughter. She yeah. has a great well, one. my poor dad, but he's putting, he's putting up with it. Now, this is the second time. You did it 10 years ago. You were on the cover 10 years. Are you going to yeah. do it every 10 years? I, I hope I look good enough to do it every 10 years, well. but I, I probably not. I think after, I, I hope to have kids, you know, and right. uh, I don't know if I would do that. Well, Demi Moore did it naked when she was pregnant, right? Didn't yeah, she? but I think that wasn't, that was more to celebrate what the human body looks like pregnant. I think Playboy has a different connotation. These photos, if they were in any other magazine, I don't think people would have made such a big deal out of them. Oh, yes, they would have in any other magazine. <laughs> <laughs> if this was in Popular Mechanics, okay. a big deal well, would be made. Probably, probably. But I think that that whole connotation of Playboy is very different because her Brits, who's like, you know, one of the best photographers, um, I think they're very tasteful. I, I was. They quite, are. Quite they are, and they're certainly lovely. To look. You look good in, and you look dressed, undressed, oh, and it's just, you. it's just so bizarre to me. You know, I'm new to this. I'm new to hosting. It's just so bizarre to be talking. To, you know, I grew up reading Playboy. No, I didn't. That wasn't all I read. But I mean, it that was around. You have such an extensive vocabulary. I knew that's, you got that's where it cut it because I only read the articles. Right, I never looked at the pictures. Well, no but one just ever be, looks at the pictures. Just to be talking to you and to know just a couple of pages away, you're naked. <laughs> During the commercial, you can think. This okay. is better than the. Those X-ray glasses that I sent away for. Yeah, you don't even look need at you. Them. That's not me. Oh, that wasn't that you. Was not I, me. That wasn't I didn't. I didn't look at the face. No. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> it does all look the same. 
I got into this whole thing about looking at all your pictures and all your past, and I saw, I got this L magazine. Yes. And you're in L magazine. That's not me either. No, this no. is not you. I'm going to open up to, to you. I want to show people this picture at home. Look at this picture right here. There you are. Something's missing. Right. But there's something missing. And it's not my mole. And it's not your mole. Can you see what's missing? Cindy doesn't have a belly button. Where's your belly button? I've had it surgically removed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? Were you shy about showing your belly button? No, I don't. It's so weird. And to be honest with you, I did not know that this picture didn't have it until your producer pointed it out to me. I guess they took it. I mean, where are you going to put all that lint? <laughs> I put it between my toes. Between your toes? Yeah, I like it there better. But anyway. Um, no, but it's so amazing. One of the great things about being a model is they do this thing called retouching to photographs, where it's right. like if you have a pimple, it's gone. Like, Got they can just take it off with the computer. Right. And I guess they did that to my belly button. Maybe it was having a bad day. I don't know. You had a bad belly button day? I guess. I didn't know I was even having a do bad belly button. Do you have an innie in or an outie? It's, well, you can look in Playboy. <laughs> well, I was going to go back. But it's it, an innie, I guess. You know what? It keeps pulling my attention It's kind of an innie outie. You have an innie outie. Just, it's flat, like this. It's just, it's just, it's not there. No, it's there. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's not an Audi. Does that bother Audi. you that they took away your belly no. button? No. It bothered me. It used to bother me when I was starting out as a model, and they would retouch my mole off sometimes. They would. So I didn't look like myself. But that became your trademark. It did. So, right. But in the beginning, people weren't sure if it was considered beautiful or not. So anyway. So the first time you had it, or the first time you took pictures, they took it off? and then How about like my first British Vogue cover? It's Cindy Crawford, but without a mole. And it's weird. It's like uh, my character, I mean, my face really loses a lot of character without the mole. And then American Vogue, the first time I did a cover, they left it on. And since then, it was like, it's approved. It was like the stamp of approval. Well, lucky Her us. mole is OK. It is, it is OK. <laughs> Everything about you is OK. <laughs> now, I saw the, uh, well, you can, everything about her is okay. Go ahead. I watched the, uh, the special. Yeah. And I did you a little. Actually, I'm Howie in it a little did bit. me a big favor. Yeah, I'm in it a little bit. You I'm, are. I'm in, the, and it's called Sex with Cindy Crawford. Right. He volunteered. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just, he's amazing. Yeah. Well, I wanted to be part of it because that's what we were going to call this show. And then we heard you had that name. So we weren't going to do it. Well, we wanted to get ratings. So that's what we called the show. Sex with Cindy Crawford. Right. It's an amazing show. It's so, I want to talk about okay. Sex with Cindy Crawford. <laughs> I'm and happy to. It just makes me blush thinking about it. It's going to be on ABC. We'll it talk is. about it. You can okay. stay right here. I will. We're going to talk about. Sex with Cindy Crawford right after this. Closed captioning for the Howie Mandel Show is brought to you by Jurgens. I'm talking to Cindy Crawford, and hopefully you're listening to me talk <laughs> to Cindy Crawford. I'm listening. Yes. Now you did this special. I did. And I got a little part in it, I'm he proud did. To, to say it. Sex with Cindy Crawford, right. which is on ABC Tuesday night, right? It's yes. gonna premiere Tuesday night. And this is a very uh, frank, kind of forward, kind of, yeah. uh, it made me blush a little bit. Made me blush. We went it, to Madison, Wisconsin, and we sat down with like a whole neighborhood of people, and these people were just very open. Sometimes very open. too open. <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a, a little clip from it. We can uh, see how okay. open, I don't know what we can show. This is daytime TV, so this is a clip that maybe we, I don't know. I don't know what this. one this is, but I know that um, in Madison, like I was talking to, it's just interesting how there's still double standards and how people still like what they think means being a guy and what being a girl. And I said to this group of guys, I was like, okay, who's had a one night stand here? You know? And they're all like, every single guy raised their hand. Okay, so then I was talking to a group of women. So then I, think, I said, okay, who here's had a one night stand? And I raised my hand. I look around, I'm the only one with my hand up. Wow, with all those guys? No, with all the women. Oh, no, I meant oh. they said they had the one night stand. <laughs> I didn't get Man. it. Man. Wow. See, I'm, I'm not, you, still not as fast as you have. But the th funny thing was, is I'm sure not every single woman was telling the truth, nor was every guy. But no, still, like, lied. guys need to say they did, and yeah, the women lied. still need to be like, no, we didn't. So this is some very, probably some more frank okay. discussions. Okay. So let's watch you talking to the people. Okay. Here we go. Who are the three guys that have their own one-night stand rules? Okay. <laughs> one-night stand rule, number one. Number one. Um, never do it a second time unless you actually care about the person. So Is if the you same night? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good question. No. I think I heard that you don't go anywhere without a condom in your pocket. Oh, <laughs> I have the dirt on you. So what's the deal, Miguel? What's the deal? Well, for crying out loud, we're in the 90s. You know, who knows what the heck you can get now. Wow. Yeah. Now, is there... 
You know, that's hard to talk about. It is. It's hard, it, you know, I think it's hard to talk about to even with your friends if these it were strangers. Is. Did anything did you, did anything make you blush? Well, <laughs> first of all, it's just hard, like certain words, like there's, you know, like everyone is a kid growing up, you have like a name for your whatever. You know, for in your our, private parts? Yes. Yeah. In our family, I don't know why we called it our Bobby. <laughs> Your, your private part is called Bobby? Yeah, the girl private part. The girl private part's called Bobby. Yeah. You, you know that I did a yeah, series? Yeah, <laughs> Called Bobby. <laughs> I could have my own special. Oh, oh my God. It you brings a whole new meaning to Bobby's world. Yeah. You could do the voice. I could do the voice. Hello, up there. <laughs> I was going to say Leave something, but I've never had to edit myself so much. I have, I'll tell <laughs> you in the show? commercial okay. what I was going to say. But that's right. <laughs> and then now, I'll tell all of now, where did you. Now, where did you learn about this? Did you learn from your friend? Where did you learn about Well, my, my mother and my father were pretty open to, right. I mean, you know, they didn't promote it. Hey, go out and have sex. But right. if we had questions, they really wanted us to come to them first. And I just remember being, I was only in fifth grade, and my older sister was in seventh grade. And she had, like, her first boyfriend, whose name was Dave Licking. Which is very funny. Um, <laughs> licking, yes. Licking. <laughs> so I remember my mom's like trying to be very like, you know, hip. She's like, so, you know, what stage are you up to in dating? And my sister goes, well, oral sex. She Can we said say that? that? I don't know. Well, but I don't know. So is your sister a... Uh, no, but... Was your sister a presidential well, intern? <laughs> Dad's chin hit the table, and my mom was great. She kept a kiss. She goes, "Well, what exactly do you mean by that?" And my sister said, "You know where you kiss with your tongues." And so oh. she thought French kissing was was the other thing. How old? How old is your sister? Well, she was. Now she's thirty. So now she knows. Now she knows. Right. But at the time, she was like twelve. You can imagine my father was ready to go over to the licking's house and like uh, kick oh some my, butt. My <laughs> you know, so. His name on top of what they were doing <laughs> is not a good thing. They weren't doing. No, they weren't, in, in his mind. Right. And now things are easier for him. He's got men coming over to him going, your daughter's got nice. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Boy, well, your poor he's father. He's been a saint. I but that is, you're wonderful. You're a joy. Well, and thank you. Uh, you come back anytime you well, want and you. talk to me. And I enjoy everything you do, your magazine, <laughs> your show. Just don't enjoy it too much. Right? Okay, I will. <laughs> now you sound like my wife. <laughs> But the show is uh, Sex with Cindy Crawford, Tuesday and it's on 10. Tuesday at 10 o'clock on ABC. Yes. And uh, we got. Uh, and Howie, Howie does a little clip for I got, I got a little clip in yeah. it. Now, coming up, we got this guy. No. You know, he's a heartthrob all over, like, Asia and all over most and of the world. Are. And now here, he's becoming a heartthrob, and he's, he's starring in this new movie, Rush Hour, and he's a superstar, and he sings. He even sings. I did Elvis not know he sang. So I'm telling you that he sings. So we'll be right back with Jackie Chan. Stay right where you are. <laughs> Okay, my next guest is a world-famous action hero, and now he's got a new book out, too. He's a director, and he's a singer. He's called the Evil Knievel of Martial Arts. Now, the new movie is Rush Hour, and that opens tonight with Chris Tucker. You gotta see Jackie Chan in action. Go see the movie, but before you go see the movie, watch this. I'll show you a little action. Watch this. Stay away from the window, please. Not here. Get out now! Get out now! Thank you. You're great. Thank you, thank you. I saw the movie. You I like saw the it? I love the movie. Thank I love you. all your movies. Now you, you. Go. they love all your movies. Thank you. Woo! Woo! 
I feel like doing that too. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> You get that wherever you go? Uh, almost, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. great. A different sound. Hee hee, yaha, ho, hey. Different country, different yeah. Different yaoli. sounds? So they uh, in Africa, when yeah. I'm in Africa, they hoo 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 hoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? And then uh, it rains. Yeah. Especially, uh, funny things when I'm in Africa, filming in Africa, right. they do this. The, that's a 20 years ago, my old movie. No, this that's an of, old move. Yeah, very old. What's the new move? The new move? Yeah, for the old days, especially for the old days, you do this Chinese yeah. traditional. Yeah. But now the the nineties, you feel like action is like more modern fighting. You don't like a, like you're a doing before. more than fighting right there. Yeah, I don't see any movement. <laughs> Just, but I'm sure it could modern. kill. No, the modern. Not oh, mo more than. You oh, English? modern, modern. Thank you. I'll be the translator. <laughs> no, I mean the old days. Yeah, when they you fight old days, ba 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 ba. Right. You know, you have to stop. Right. The, the now, the 90s, da 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 ba. You know, it's more, it's more, more. <laughs> the most fascinating thing about you, besides the movies being great and also funny, I mean, you're like a, a you don't see a lot of martial artists being funny. I, I, I want to put more humor, right? Less violent. I don't like violent. I like action. When I'm fighting, it's like a choreograph, all of fighting, dancing. Ba 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 da. Yeah, right. even punch, kicking, you didn't see the blue blood from the nose and the mouth. You, no blood in your mouth. No. Now, but you also do all your own stunts. There's no special effects, right? Yes. Did you jump from that tree to that building? Of course. <laughs> I, I, I have the special effect. Yes. You know, because in American movies, we always have, you know, the, the star will walk no, right up to the ledge. The funny thing is, when I, when I do the jump in the tree, right. we have to stop for an hour. I said, why? Because they have a meeting with the two insurance guys from the company. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a safety captain on the set. Right. Then I see sitting there watching what happened. They put the map, they put the wire, make sure the tree doesn't fall, put the wire over the tree, make sure the window doesn't fall. This guy. But two days ago, I already did it twice. They know? From nothing. Yeah. I show the director, I show the stunt coordinator. When they do it, they, oh, take it, careful. I say, okay, don't, 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 don't. No, but but the real, said, the but real the shooting, they, they put four hours to, for the safety. Yeah, but they're right, because you've hurt yourself. Have you not Yeah, hurt I hurt myself a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but after they, after they take four hours, yeah. then I really do again, again. I feel safety. Yeah. You feel safety? Yeah. Have you broken any bones? I've broken so many in my head, have a hole, you no know, plastic in my head. You have plastic. You have plastic. There's a, <laughs> there's a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Cindy, feel this. Oh. Yeah, you gotta feel this. Oh my god. You have a hole in your head. He does, he has a hole in that's your head. A, you need that like scar. you need a hole in your head. <laughs> that's a scar. How do you how do you have that? What's that from? From from Yugoslavia I jumped from the castle. I fell. I just missed For it. For a movie, or the elevator was taking too long? For a movie, <laughs> always movie. Beside movie, I do nothing. I really scare everything. Even I, I scare fly, I stare. I really scare under the bridge. I, right. I really scare the nerve quit, the You're bridge scared. drop. Yeah, right. I always back up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> tunnel, I scare the tunnel, bro, the water comes in. So I drive fast over the tunnel. <laughs> yes, in but real when life. filming, yes. when this, I hear the camera, I do whatever I do. Because yeah. that's what made you the biggest star in, in Asia. You're the biggest, you're becoming the biggest star here. That's why you do it. And the ladies. The ladies love it. You're like a, you're like a sex symbol. Really? Well, yes. Can I? Yeah. Can you? Can you what? <laughs> She's married. She's oh, married. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. But, but yeah. She, so this is why I give up. You gave up? Yeah. Oh. Yes, but, but the, the ladies love you now that you, uh, uh, when you're meeting the ladies. But how do you learn to speak English so well? You actually speak very uh, well for somebody that is really? not from here. Well, you spent little time here. I know you just moved here. But uh, how do you learn I, your I English? I very hard time when I learn English. Uh, like, uh, I, mostly the time I learn English from the song. Songs? Yeah. You know, like, you're always on my mind. You are always on. I can really can use. I, I doesn't mean I don't like rock song, you know, like ba, ba, da, da. I cannot understand. I just the, the right. but when I listen the country song, you are always on my mind. Then I can tell the girl you are always on my mind. Oh, see, I, yes, see. I can. I can really use my real life. Yeah, I, I learned. So this is why I learned a lot of country song like. Uh, Oceans apart, day after day. I miss you day after day. You know, I can't really oh, no. use. So the ladies must love that. 
Yeah. You I know what? We have a big uh, female audience here. This is a big female audience. Besides the people that are here, I think it's mostly ladies walking and listening at home. Do you want to you wanna sing a little something for the ladies at home? <laughs> Can you do it? Thank you. And actually, it's about I time know. to show audience. I'm not only a good fighter, I'm also not very good. I'm also a singer. You I are. can't, when I retire, I want to be a singer. But you sing in your movies. You sing in the yeah, closing every, titles. Yeah, all you the do. Titles, so yeah. you have, and you sold albums all over Asia. Yes. You sold a record. Big hit. Well, we're going to get you a big hit here. <laughs> he is a big hit. Listen to him, and you'll find out, ladies and gentlemen, the song stylings of Jackie Chan. <laughs> Only fool, right? 